Hey, what's up, guys? Sub here, the NBA every day. So, if you guys don't know, Modern Warfare 3 just came out last Tuesday, and this game is already doing phenomenal. It's on the pace for being the most sold game of all time for the Xbox 360 and the previous title was of course Black Ops and that is currently the most sold game of all time for the Xbox 360 and that's basically why I made this video because you know I know a lot of you guys have not bought Modern Warfare 3 yet and you guys are sticking with Black Ops and you guys are not sure if Modern Warfare 3 is worth it or not and that's basically what I want to let you guys know which game is better which game is going to succeed more Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops now, before I start this discussion, just want to let you guys know I'm running with the Type 95 and I'm playing Domination. And I did take away some of my debts just to make this video a little bit faster, so you guys don't have to, so you guys can be more ent entertained basically throughout the whole entire video. So, a little information about me: Black Ops was my first Call of Duty game. I have played Modern Warfare 2 in the past, but not to the extent where I played Black Ops. I never played Modern Warfare 1. I do own World at War, but I never really played that game. So, basically, Modern Warfare. 3 is my second game of the Call of Duty franchise, and I'm actually really loving it. Now, there's big, big differences between Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, guys. These games are completely different. Of course, uh, you know, the controls are still the same, but, you know, the gameplay-wise, it's a lot different. The tactics you use to, you know, get kills is so much different, especially the kill streaks. Now, if you guys never played a Modern Warfare franchise, such as myself, before playing this game, you have to realize that the kill streaks stack up in this game. In Black Ops, number 12, was your attack dogs. Once you got 12 kills without uh, d dying, you got your attack dogs. Now in this game, the highest is 17, and that's an Osprey Gunner. I'm not talking about the MOAB, that's something different, but mostly the hardest and strongest kill streak in this game is the Osprey Gunner, similar to a Chopper Gunner. And you're going to be wondering, why is it 17, whereas the Chopper Gunner was only, I believe, 9 or 7 in Modern Warfare and Black Ops? The reason is because kill streaks stack, and that's a big difference in this game, and it really values your kills more. Alright, enough about killstreaks, let's actually talk about the gameplay. Now the pace in these two games are so much different guys. If you guys realize, and in my opinion, I honestly thought Black Ops was a lot easier. Reason why, it was easier to get killstreaks in that game, and a lot of people always rush in this game. Now in Modern Warfare 3, it's played by a lot of veterans who played Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1. They know what they're doing, and they have been playing Modern Warfare 2 a lot. And now I know there's a lot of Modern Warfare 2 fans and a lot of Black Ops haters, and for the Black Ops haters, they most likely never really played Black Ops to the extent that they should have, and they stuck with Modern Warfare 2, which even makes them better at Modern Warfare 3, guys, because Modern Warfare 3 is very similar to Modern Warfare 2. And that basically concludes that Modern Warfare 3 is a lot harder, because if you're just coming off Black Ops, you're used to Black Ops, you're going to be playing with a lot of veterans, guys, and that just makes it so much harder, because I really never played a Modern Warfare game before, so starting this game after Black Ops, it really had a toll on my KD. Now, I average about a 2 KD on Black Ops with this game you know I'm, I'm fighting to get 1.5 and that just shows you how much camping is in this game how much strategy is in this game now in black ops a person would just rush to the middle of the floor and you know just get killed because you know KD and none of that really mattered but this game you gotta be slick and you gotta just really really work hard to get your kill streaks and stack them up to really raise your KD now not only is the gameplay different from black ops and modern warfare 3 all your proficiencies your perks and the way your gun levels up is so much different guys now, I'm basically going to be explaining this to you. So say you got a level 44 in Black Ops, right? You unlock your commando, right? So as soon as you unlock your commando, depending on how much money you have, will basically allow you to buy any single attachments you want for that gun. Now in Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 1, it's a lot different, guys. Once you unlock your gun, you can't put any attachments until your gun levels up. Just as you level up during a game, so does your gun. So the higher level your gun is, the more attachments you can put into your gun, which does make sense a lot because, you know, it's kind of rigged if you can just put use your money and you know buy any single attachment you want you have to work for your attachments and you gotta be good at it too now prestiging in this game is also different too my friends now in this game to prestige you gotta become a level 80 whereas in black ops it was only up to level 50 and that is a big difference but you do level up faster in this game in my opinion now, if you guys are used to Modern Warfare 2 and 3, you guys already know there's something called Death Streaks. But if you guys are not familiar with this game, and you guys are mostly used to Black Ops, they didn't really have Death Streaks. And I really, really love the feature of Death Streaks. Now, if you guys don't know what a Death Streak is, it's basically once you've died a certain amount of times in a row, you have a, basically a Death Streak. And there's different type of Death Streaks. My favorite is Final Chance. Now, there is no second chance in this game, but there is a Final Chance Death Streak, which basically allows you... As soon as you get killed, you actually, it's similar to Second Chance where you can fight back, but you actually can fight back with your gun 
uh, obviously you're going to be wounded on the ground. But once you know you get the kill and you're still alive after a couple of seconds, maybe 30 seconds or so, you actually can come back alive without getting revived. All right, let's be honest, guys. We all care about the kill streaks, and the kill streaks is what basically makes Call of Duty what it is. And the kill streaks in this game are a lot, lot, lot different than the kill streaks in Black Ops. And I'm basically going to be explaining to you guys what the differences are. Now, there's three different type of kill streaks in this game. There's your assault, your support, and your specialist kill streaks. Whereas in Black Ops, there's just a simple list of kill streaks. Now, basically, the assault and support are basically offense and defense, and your specialist is a mixture of everything. All right. So I don't really have to explain what assault is. It's your simple kill streak, such as Black Ops, which is primarily all offense, such as care packages, Osprey gunners, Predator missiles, such as stuff like that. That really, really helps you get a lot more kills. But there is something called support, and if you guys see on my UAV map, you can see something similar to the Black Ops, and that's one of the highest rewards you can get from a support kill streak. And you know, it's not as good as the Blackbirds were, but they do really help in this game. Okay. Now I know what you guys might be thinking, I'm an offensive type of player, why would I want to use support? And the great thing about support is, is they do not stack, and I'll basically explain to you guys what that means. So correct me if I'm wrong, if you get 18 kills with your support, you can get rather an EMP or a juggernaut. Now an EMP basically disables all electronic devices and every single thing that has electricity on the opponent's team, and the juggernaut basically makes you a really, really strong dude, okay, so in a nutshell. And anyways, what the support thing does, say you get 18 kills, right? Basically, if you get 9 kills, you die, you get another 9 kills, you still get 18 in total, you can still use that kill streak. Whereas in, you know, Black Ops or Bottom for 3, if you want to get an Osprey Gunner 17 kills, you cannot die at all. Or you will not be able to use the Osprey Gunner. So they're really, it's a really good thing, and it's really easy to get EMPs and a lot of high, high, high kill streaks from support. And you do get a lot of XP, and you actually can get some kills because there are some, you know, so there are some things such as assault drones and all that type of stuff that can actually get you some kills. So if you guys are really interested in getting points and stuff, and you guys are not that well at building up your kill streaks, go for support. Alright, so I did talk about the assault kill streak and I did talk about the support, but I did not talk about the specialist. And what the specialist does is literally makes you a super soldier. So once you get seven kills in a row with the specialist kill streak, you basically unlock every single perk in the game. And that's hands down amazing, guys. You are literally a super soldier. And a hidden kill streak they did with the specialist, you know, package is basically if you guys get 24 kills in a row, it is 25, but with hardline, which you already get. 24 kills, you get an MOAB, Mother of All Bombs, and that literally is amazing. It EMPs the opponents, and it kills every single person on their team. It does give you some care packages too, so it really does work, and it's a great accomplishment. So this gameplay is literally about to end, as you guys can see right here. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video, and I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think is better? Do you guys think Black Ops is better, or Modern Warfare 3? Honestly, I just started playing Modern Warfare 3, and I'm already in love, so let me know what you guys think on these two games. Have a good one, guys. Please comment, subscribe, rate, like, and let me know what you guys think. The NBA Everyday. Have a good one.